during protection coordination using ETAP software, we need to check the PD sequencing. That means sequence of operation to check whether the circuit breakers are operating sequentially based on the setting. That means if there is any if there is any fault in the downstream network, then the fault should be cleared by the immediate connecting circuit breaker and then the upstream circuit breaker and then further upstream circuit breaker so in this sequence the circuit breaker should operate to check and verify that to validate that we need to run pd sequencing or the sequence of operation as well so how to do that and also i will discuss uh, regarding this uh, phase sequencing and also the uh, ground fault that means sing single line to ground fault uh, sequence checking how to do that not only the phase we need to check the ground fault sequence as well so in the first part let's check the pd sequencing how to do that to check the correctness of the relay setting in the protection coordination so let's go let's go to this star uh, star protection mode here this is the this is the network where the grid is connected let's say we will create a fault here if we create a fault uh, here in this bus what will happen we will see so if we insert a fault here yeah so this breaker is operating first then this breaker and this then incoming circuit breaker so transmot secondary next transmot primary and the 6.6 kb incomer breaker that means this sequence of operation sequence of circuit breaker operation this is absolutely fine now let's check that sequence of operation here this is the sequence of operation how it will operate if you click here sequence viewer then this window box will open okay so first of all what is this this circuit breaker this circuit breaker if you see this circuit breaker if you click here then the circuit breaker is selected here in red okay that means this circuit breaker is operating first at time t1 equals to 15 millisecond and this is taking time this is this is the circuit breaker operating time which is the 60 millisecond and this is for phase phase volt if you double click here you can go to the circuit breaker editor go to rating go to trip device sorry go to rating here and here you can see this is the minimum delay which is 30 millisecond <laughs> okay now coming to the next upstream delay this delay this delay will pick up this is overcurrent relay oc 151 idmt overcurrent relay this is uh, this delay will pick up at time t equals to 118 millisecond and this delay will give the circuit breaker opening command to this cb10 this circuit breaker cb10 and this circuit breaker will operate in 60 millisecond 
in 60 millisecond if you double click here you will be redirected to the circuit breaker editor phase here go to rating and here let's check what we have defined what we have defined here this is the breaking time this is circuit breaker breaking time which is defined as 60 millisecond you can you can choose from the drop down list so since this is selected this is modeled as 60 millisecond breaking time that will come here this is 60 millisecond the circuit breaker will take time to operate that means to operate this circuit breaker total time required is the time required by the relay connecting relay that is, which is relay 5 that is 118 millisecond and after that the circuit breaker will start operating and it will take 60 millisecond that means 118 millisecond plus 60 millisecond 178 millisecond total time it will take to operate this relay plus this circuit breaker the relay will pick up and it will give the trip signal trip command to the circuit breaker and this will take another 60 sec 60 millisecond that means total time is relay time plus circuit breaker time that's fine now coming to the next relay if you click here so this relay will operate relay 7 the connecting circuit breaker cb14 cb14 so again this relay 7 will pick up at time 1.443 second and again this circuit breaker this circuit breaker operating time is 20 millisecond if you go to the breaker editor page you can see here this breaking time is defined as 20 millisecond that's why it is taking 20 millisecond so the total operating time for the relay 7 and the corresponding circuit breaker this relay and this circuit breaker total time required is 1443 plus 20 millisecond that means 1463 millisecond likewise this is relay 6 this is relay 6 and this is the corresponding circuit breaker this relay 6 is giving trip command to this circuit breaker cb22 <coughs> so the total time taken is the summation of these two so that means sequentially the circuit breakers are operating based on the based on the relay coordination relay protection coordination setting and obviously this is the what uh, what i have already mentioned this is the phase this is the phase over current this is phase over current idmt this is also phase over current this is also phase over current so all are uh, because of the phase over current relay operation and and now i will show you how to how to offer it how to check that uh, ground fault as well if there is any single line to ground fault in this network then how to check that how to check that one we need to insert a fault insert a ground fault at any bus or at any component in the network then we can check the the pd sequence that means the sequence of operation in the same way but before the, doing that we need to we need to change the setting here go to this briefcase this study case editor and here sequence of operation you can see sequence of operation and here this is the fault type this is three phase so that's why it was showing the three phase fault sequence of operation now if we want to check this line to ground fault then we need to we need to check this so we have selected line to ground fault okay now now let's check whether there is any ground fault element that means uh, ground or protection element or not so go to the trip device here because this is lsig 
circuit breaker release LV circuit breaker release uh, feature is used there is no external relay or CT connection so this is for the phase setting and here it is for ground setting so let's say this ground is selected and let it be there as uh, by default value 0 0.2 and this band is uh, 0.1 okay let it be there now you show that means the ground element is already there so so here you can see the symbol is changed this symbol is changed now this is for this is for the ground element this is for fault insertion fault insertion for to check that uh, single line to ground fault previously previously it was uh, three phase fault and now this grounding uh, symbol you can see how it is coming just notice it once again i will do for your uh, for your better understanding go to the sequence of operation let's choose three phase and just notice here the symbol will get changed if i click ok now it is you can see this is for three phase uh, three phase fault sequence of operation checking and if we change it to single line to ground then the symbol will come like this so let's create a fault again in the same bus lv bus this is single line to ground fault if there is any single line to ground fault here at lv bus then what is happening yeah so transformer secondary side phase and earth is operating then this upstream breaker maybe phase fault is operating let's check what is happening here so how to do that go to sequence viewer let's check the sequence of operation here so first of all this circuit breaker the this is the release lv release so this phase element is operating at time t equals to 15 millisecond and then if you can notice here this is the ground element of the same circuit breaker this is the ground element which is operating at time t equals to 80 millisecond so that means firstly this phase element is operating next the ground element of the same circuit breaker is operating not phase this is ground at time t equals to 80 millisecond and then the next circuit breaker phase element is operating this is the delay this is circuit breaker this is again the transformer secondary relay circuit breaker this is transformer primary side relay and circuit breaker like this so what is happening this is circuit breaker ground element if you go to this setting here go to the trip device here the ground this is the ground element it is activated so because of this because of this ground setting this is coming this is operating at t time t equals to 80 millisecond that means we can check we can validate from here from the pg sequence checking that what elements are operating at the same time there must be a phase element there must be ground element maybe in the same relay whether it is downstream or upstream at different level we can check what are the elements are operating during any fault in the downstream network either it is phase or it is ground so likewise we can we can check and validate okay now one more thing i will i will show you go to the briefcase editor study case editor here go to sequence of operation okay let's go back to three phase three phase and here protective devices operated devices to flash it is set by default three it is said three what is this this is at sequential flashing animation this is the number of breakers for which number of protective devices you want to check so if it is three if it is three 
let's check once again insert a fault here so this is the first element first configure second pd and third pd first pd second pd and third pd like this that means in the briefcase editor here devices to flash is 3 if we change it to 4 4 now again let's insert a fault here let's see what what happens number 1 pd number 2 number 3 and number 4 that means it is checking it is checking the sequence of operation up to four protective devices yeah one two three four so in this way it will operate you can check if you if you want to check further upstream network further upstream network then then you can change again five six seven so as per the as per the requirement or as you wish depending on the complication of the network generally three is sufficient number of devices up to three protective devices we can check the pd sequencing if you want to check up to fourth level that is also that is nothing wrong you can check obviously four or five whatever may be depending on your requirement or the criticality of the power system network so this is another thing what uh, i have shown you okay so in this way you can you can insert either three phase fault or ground fault and you can check the sequence pd uh, sequence of operation using this sequence viewer i uh, hope this video will help uh, a little bit just to clear your ideas how to do that after setting the protection relay coordination finally we need to check this finally we need to run this pd sequence otherwise uh, the the release or circuit breaker will maloperate that means the sequence of operation will uh, may not be correct after this transformer secondary side circuit breaker operation maybe this transformer secondary breaker is operating but it should not happen there should be the sequence of operation and easily we can identify easily we can check and validate using the etap software so this is the beauty of etap okay thanks for watching if you have any query you can put in the comment box i will come back to you